right in the ovaries. Get her good. What's going on, YouTube? Good to see you. I'm so glad to be back making content with you guys. Uh, you guys have enjoyed the top 10s. If you guys haven't seen the top 10 Mario games or the top 10 fighting games, make sure you guys go back and watch those. Those have been going great. You guys seem to enjoy them. Lots of new subscribers, which is awesome. I got a new one coming up every Monday, at least working on that. And part of this is I want to actually bring more content to you guys. Uh, so I wanted to try this out and see how it goes. A lot of you guys remember my takes on the old video game vaults back in the day. Video game vaults, unfortunately, they just wouldn't work on today's internet. So I tried something during the live stream the other day where I essentially did a, uh, a live video game vault style uh, thought process, video essay, like extended version of it while playing through it live and kind of providing my thoughts. And uh, then I cut it up and that's what you're about to see. So if you guys do enjoy this, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscription. This is just like a, a pilot, a test run to see if you guys are into this. I may do one or two more depending on how you take to it. Uh, and if you guys are into this, if you're not, whatever. Also, let me know in the comments what games we should do on this. Uh, this Obviously, Double Dragon is super that's fringe now. It's not super popular today. Uh, this is definitely a, a classic style uh, entry of like video game vaultish. But uh, yeah, man, this is super, super exciting. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Obviously, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. And if you really enjoy my content, consider becoming a member down below. Uh, that would go tremendously far. Thank you guys very much. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this and enjoy this, whatever this is called. Of Double Dragon. I never liked how the music stopped after you put the credits in. You know, like the attract sound had done its duty. It, it, it got you in, you put your credit in, and I was like, now it's time to be boring. But no, here he goes. Okay, so obviously the famous gut punch. She flips around, you see the panties right there. You got Machine Gun Joe in the background, they fall off. I always thought this was just the coolest thing in the world. This was a Double Dragon staple for me. This car, this this up here, this, this Thunderbird or whatever this is up here, I, I always thought this was like the coolest, man. Um, very cool, you can see it's got the, the the engine exposed up there. And this is one of those things where as you as you go through and you, you play the different Double Dragons, I thought this was like, what's gonna be in Double Dragon 3? What's gonna be in Double Dragon 2? You're, you, got, you always come out of the garage, what's it gonna be? Can we take a, uh, take a second, what does mat Matin mean at the top? I never even noticed that before. An English tear or tear? That's, oh, that's the card from Road Adventure, apparently. Wow. Interesting. Thank you, Lauren. Appreciate that. All right. Fun stuff. Okay, so we're going to move on a little bit and check this out. Have you ever seen an actual, like, uh, one of those po posted? I guess it's not a playbill, but whatever is posted there. You got the background over here with the city in the back. You know, I guess, are you kind of fighting in the suburbs? Is that implied here? That you're making your way through the, the nice suburb area? of the Double Dragon Town. I wonder if they've ever described what city this is supposed to be. Obviously, I would imagine New York. Correct. Let's make our way through here. Now, this is the first time we meet Linda over here. Linda's gonna bust out with her whip. And I'll tell you, one of the things that I hated about the, the, uh, the Nintendo version versus the Double Dragon version was that, that you can't take the whip. You can't take the whip with you from screen to screen. Man, can we talk about her, like, man, she just looks horrible laying down like that. All right, we got the scoop over here. Scoop Moto. That's got to be a reference to something. It's definitely, you know, obviously a, a beetle. Whoa, our first meeting in a Bobo. Holy crap. I don't recall this. One of the big differences between this game and the NES game was, in this game, you start with all of your moves. Whereas in the NES game, you have to level up. There's like a, a X, EXP or XP uh element to it, which I was never, a, you know, I always thought that was interesting. Man, look at that climbing animation, like all seven frames of that. Oh, I always like the cats in the background. Why is there a cat there? Oh, take that knife to the face. It's really interesting to see, see kind of the, uh, you know, the idea that this is a bad guy. He's green. This is a bad guy. He's stronger. He has a different, different, uh, you know, palette swap. I do like that you're able to continue from the start, from, from where you hit. Oh, and you and he takes damage from his buddy. Oh man, throw that at him. I, I talk about using the, um, oh, I, I, oh, he's gonna run away, that's awesome. You kill the big bad guy, and he just runs away, that's great. And you just move on to mission two. The other guy just runs away, he's scared, like a little baby. Now, I also recall one of the big differences, there was a glitch on the NES version where you could fall and you could level up your hearts. It was like, it was essentially the equivalent of right here where you fall down. Yup. Oh. <laughs> Man, can you just imagine to get in a full Barry Bonds baseball bat like that? 
across across your chest how many broken bones you'd have and these guys get up and they keep fighting why are they fighting can we talk about the hinge henchman here so right now i'm at what two quarters right now we'll, we'll keep track of that as well see how that goes let's see if i can get them on the conveyor belt and see if they'll be idiots and die let's see if they fall yes see you get out of here i can absolutely see why this game was was pretty revolutionary for its time right like 100 percent with that said could you beat up Linda in, in today's Double Dragon? Probably not. Right in the ovaries, get her good. All right, so this is definitely level three. The music is the same, but I don't see any forest here. Drastically different than the NES. This music was, uh, on the Nintendo, was very bizarre to me. Because there's this, um, like this part coming up right here. Doesn't that just sound gross? Like, that is not good music. It's just like, looks like, sounds like some cats just like, like hitting some bells. Like Elvira playing some sort of like ghostly woo in the background. I really don't like, you notice how I move. I can move all around this playing area, but I gotta push the edge to move forward, which I don't like. I feel like the, the camera in this game should allow should move with me as I'm in the center of the screen. Here we go. We got some trees. This okay, that that's kind of similar to the NES game, which is nice. Guy hops down. I always thought that was a pretty iconic part, at least for me. As a little kid, be like, oh that's different. And that that's really what it kind of took came down to was a lot of times in these games, just like small little differences go a really big, really big way in in these arcade games. Just a little change of pace along the way. I mean, we've been playing for about 20 minutes or so. And like a guy jumping out of a tree is a really big deal. There we go. I'm going to walk right at, the, right, right at the edge. Come and get it. Boof. <laughs> this is how you did it in games. This is exactly how you did it in games. You wanted to save money, so you'd go right to the edge. You'd, you'd, you'd manipulate it, man. You'd absolutely manipulate it. Boof. So you could actually beat them. Love it. Here's a big deal, making this jump. This was a hard jump in the Nintendo. Made it, and then you get greeted by a Bobo. Oh, he's gonna toss me into the water. Oh! <laughs> My lord. Oh God, I can't even pick up a guy. I can't even pick up the, pick up the, the, the freaking thing. I'm gonna, man, get out of here. This is brutal. But this is how you win the game. This is how you win. Stop tossing me off the ledge, oh Bobo. You know, I wonder if this, if this, if this was uh, any inspiration to the living forest in Mortal Kombat. In Mortal Kombat 2. You wonder if that had any inspiration at all. Oh, here we go. This looks just like the arcade, just like the NES game. Isn't it funny how I'm comparing this game to the NES NES game? Because I played the NES way more. We got two of Bobos. This, this is where the games just get dumb. Just stupid. Let's see if I can kick this guy to the edge here. Yes! That's how you do it. Invade the enemy's base. Okay, we're there now. I think we're at the end. Oh, this thing, we fought this guy earlier. He's got the spinning jump kick. Okay, in the original NES, you had to get seven hearts to get the spinning jump kick that the guy's doing. That was so incredibly hard to do because it was built on points. But he's already got it. I want that. Let's see if I, I'm gonna fall down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hurt. You have to take, you have to get hurt there. It's stupid. Oh man, uh oh. And he's, he recovers so fast. Let's see if we can keep on moving. There's gotta be a ledge here I can knock him off. Oh, there's two of them now. And then I just fall off the ledge. Oh my gosh. It's so slippery. Oh, we got a green Abobo now. Sorry, Abobo, you're dead. This is all we're gonna do. Basic strategy, how to conserve your quarters. Use one, go back and forth, slowly take your time. Eight hours later. <laughs> but the most important thing here, no quarters later. Come here. Oh, God, oh, geez. Lost a rock. Take that, you rock thrower. God, that sounds dirty. You rock thrower, you. <laughs> Easily one of the cheapest parts possibly in the history of arcade games uh, and Nintendo. This part just drove me stinking crazy. If you remember playing this part in the NES game or the arcade and you thought this was just total BS, please drop a like and tell me about it in the comments. Oh my God. This is where they made their money, folks. This is where they made their money. Ugh! Oh, this is, oh no! Oh, oh, that's right, but they have the, these guys with the jabbing sticks. I'm gonna try to knock these guys into them. Oh man, of course, toss the, toss the guy over there and the spikes, that's the worst. Uh-oh, and then I die. 
I don't like the quick respawn. Do you see how quickly you respawned right there? Man, such a quick respawn. You don't even know where you're at. Man, give him the spin kick. I like the spin kick coming in there. Man, give him the, the kick into the uppercut. That's pretty nice. Can we give it up? What is the best arcade game move it or lose it icon? Now, I will say this. In this game, they do not throw down like dynamite, which makes you explode. I noticed that in the, in the Simpsons and the Turtles games, they'll just have you straight explode if you not play in the game. This is the timer will just eventually go out, man. I think we're almost to the end. We are to the end. There she is. There's our lady friend. Just like the little things, the little color, the little color palette swaps. Now he has yellow eyes. Guess what? He's more menacing. Uh, we are at the end. Absolutely at the end. Is this where they got Machine Gun Joey or whatever his name is comes out? Man, we got skulls down here. We got the Double Dragon logo up top. We're fighting a couple dudes. And I think in the arcade, in the uh, in the arcade, if you're playing two player, you actually have to fight your brother. To, de to determine who gets Marion, because Marion's just a, she's the prize, her vagina. No, that's, that, listen, that's what video games have told me over the years, okay? Just horrible, horrible messaging. Machine Gun Willy, that's what it is. I very much like any game that returns to the title music at the very end of it. It's like coming full circle. I think that's so good, man. Look at how sad she looks at it. You can't even really see her face now that we're looking at this like in, in beautiful high definition. Uh-oh, he's back. Here he comes. It's Machine Gun Willy. The only guy in the entire game with a gun. And he'll just literally murder you with one shot. I remember getting to him, Machine Gun Willy, in the NES version of the game. With like no life. You're just almost there, right? You're almost there at the end. And you get to him. And then he came out and he shot me and was like, that's it. Game over. You're done. Go back to the beginning. <laughs> this is the worst. Those moments where you get all the way to the end and you die like immediately. And you're like, oh, now you're going to go back and... Get better. Oh, he's dead now. Get out of here. Do I kill you guys? Or are you going to leave? Get, get, get out of here. I'm going to make... You're not leaving. Oh, there we go. We did it. We won. Look at how happy he looks. We did it. Yay. And the reward is always a kiss with a little taste of panties back there. There it is right there. That sounded really dirty, didn't it? Well, that's it. And that's all you get. And that's what you played the game for. The reality is, is that nobody ever, ever saw the ending, unless you were in a smoky, quarter-munching arcade in Akihabara, Japan. I know I probably said that wrong, but nobody ever saw the ending of these games. Everybody remembers the first and second levels, because that's as far as you got. But now, with the joy, with the ability to play these games at home, legally, uh, you can go in and you can play these things, and it's super fun, and get to the ending for the first time ever. And that's it. And we get to see that Technos Japan made this. And they made a ton of money off of Double Dragon. Double Dragon 1, Double Dragon 2. And they, they turned it into a crazy franchise. Even Double Dragon Neon a few years ago was amazing. That was like 10 years ago now. That was great. And now we get to keep going if we want to. But we don't. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in and giving me your feedback on this. Should I do more? Should I do less? Is this too old? Should I do newer games? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, go check out the new top 10, top 10 Mario games or top 10 fighting games. Once again, trying to get a new top 10 every single Monday. You guys hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button for no more fun content or nor fun content. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.